third day, Saint Ludwina of Schiedam, Holland. Today we bring to you Saint Ludwina of Schiedam, who was a 15th century Dutch saint and a mystic. As a teenager, she had an ice skating accident that left her a cripple for the rest of her life. A sinful man was converted by her prayers and exhortation and was able to make a good confession. But he died soon after, unable to do much penance. After some time, Ludwina asked her guardian angel if he was still in purgatory. She was then granted the following vision. Ludwina's guardian angel transported her to purgatory but warned her about the pains of it. She agreed to endure the pain to save this man. Immediately she found herself in a place of frightful torture. She was horrified at the sight and asked whether this was hell. The angel replied, No sister, this part of purgatory is bordering upon hell. Then looking around on all sides, Ludwina saw what resembled an immense prison surrounded with walls of a high height, the blackness of which, together with the monstrous stone, filled her with horror. Approaching this enclosure, she heard a noise of lamenting voices, cries of fury, chains, instruments of torture, violent blows of execu executioners discharged upon the victims. She was filled with fear as a garden angel led her closer to this place. There was an angel seated sadly nearby and she inquired who he was. Her guide informed her that it was the guardian angel of the soul whom she was interested in. His soul was in this well where it had a special purgatory. Ludwina insisted on seeing the soul of the one she wanted to save. She was terrified as she heard his plaintive cries. She recognized him, a prey to the most terrible torment of fire, resembling incandescent metal pleading. O Ludwina, servant of God, who will give me to contemplate the face of the Most High? This sight gave Ludwina such a shock that she came out of her ecstasy and she cried, Alas, how frightful are the prisons of purgatory. It was to help that I agreed to descend there. Without this motive, if the whole world were given to me, I would not undergo the terror which that horrible spectacle inspired. Some days later, the guardian angel of the soul in purgatory appeared to Ludwina with a joyful countenance. He told her that the soul of this man had left the terrible pit and passed into the ordinary purgatory. Ludwina was not satisfied and she continued to pray and offered all her sufferings and its merits until she saw the gates of heaven open to him. My dear friends, from this narration, you will understand the different grades in purgatory. Let us pray, make reparation and do all we can to save the souls, especially languishing in such horrible places in purgatory. Let us sing for them now. The land will never grow old. I have heard of a land on the far away strand. Tis a beautiful home of the soul. Built by Jesus on high, where we never shall die. Tis a land where we'll never grow. Never grow, never grow in a land where we'll never grow. Never grow, never grow in a land where we'll never grow. When our work here is done and the life crown is won and our troubles 
and trials are over. All our sorrows will end, and our voices will blend with the loved ones who've gone on before. Never grow, never grow in a land where we'll never grow. Never grow, never grow in a land where we'll never grow. Eternal rest, eternal rest grant unto them whose earthly lives are past. Perpetual light shine down on them, may they rest in peace at last. Eternal life grant unto them whose laughter now I've lost, whose presence and whose smiles I miss, but never mind the cost. Eternal joy grant unto them whose sufferings now are through, their pain and illness finally gone, their minds and hearts renew. Eternal peace grant unto them, my friends and foes forever. Forgive them all their trespasses, may they rest in peace forever. Prayer for Tuesday O Lord God Almighty, I pray you by the precious blood which your divine Son Jesus shed in his bitter crowning with thorns, deliver the souls in purgatory, and in particular the one amongst them, all which would be the last to depart out of those pains, that it may not tarry so long a time before it comes to praise you in your glory and bless you forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of all the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.